Couldn't tell you what the problem is, Sean. Couldn't tell you. Okay, let me get this business set up. Zzz. You go about there. You come on over here. Like so. And like so. Folks, if you just joined us, we're having uh, technical difficulties. Because I don't know if you know, but today ends with the letter Y. Okay, so Sean, I think I have it set up appropriately. Uh, so folks, if you are seeing what you're, you're, you know, what we want you to see. Uh, okay, Tom's saying, hey, looking better. Nice work, Brandon. Uh, I guess I should stop typing now that we can actually talk. I am an internet god. Okay, so uh, we had gotten to a good start. You all getting buffering? Oh, no. <laughs> see, it's not me, asshole. Jeez, Sean, you don't have to be so vicious after I was so supportive of you. Oh, people are saying huzzah, yay, and all this kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to put a link to the tokens. They are within that store. Uh, we're going to be releasing the podcast tonight, so you can listen to it uh, tomorrow morning and get real hyped up on it because we have Robert from Team Covenant who talks about... Uh, all about like how they developed it, the choices that they made, and it's ridiculous, but the conversation about tokens really turns out to be quite good. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have our massive discussion on art and all of our feelings related with that with a special guest named The Chap 1979 who's here with us right now. It's amazing. The Twitch stream is just loaded with, with excitement. Uh, so do check that out tomorrow morning. It could be fun for your drive. Okay, so just bringing people up to speed, I am playing Boromir, Galad or, uh, Eowyn, and Galadriel, who's been captured. Be gentle to her. Aragorn's chilling here with me. Sean is playing Eomer, Prince Imrahil, so the horsemen. And uh, little Legolas has been captured. So the two pretty ones are captured, and all these burly boys and girls are going to have to rescue them. You know, I'm wondering if the two heroes you guys put in the upper left-hand corner might be messing with the first player token. Probably, I think so. But, you know, we're cool because Aragorn is going to represent the first player token. Uh, now, again, bringing people up to speed, we talked about the danger of licking a sword. Super dangerous. Sean, you know what the problem is now that I'm twitching or streaming or whatever you call it? <laughs> is uh, I'm Cursor mousing ADD? over stupid stuff. Okay, so uh, here we go. I'm going to play out my man. Ba bam uh, And he is the Dunedain Hunter, so we're going to look at the top five cards of the encounter deck. Oh, wait, are there any enemies in the encounter deck? There should be. Because there's that special orc deck. No, that's some different one, ain't it? Okay. Top... Yeah, that is that is not this quest. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look at the top five cards. Who do we have? Oh, we got enemies. Urukai Fighter. Yeesh. I don't want to deal with him. Ugluks Urukai. Peril. Toughness 1. Archery 1. It's not revealed, right? After the right. percent of the right into play. Okay. That's one of the advantages to it. Isengard Uruk. Uh, okay, so that guy's hitting for three. He dies to five. Three, four, five. This guy's hitting for three as well. What does toughness do again? Remind me. Anytime they are assigned damage, you reduce it by the toughness amount. Oh, so I actually have to do six damage to this guy. Bloody hell! Okay, I'm going to add this dude. Okay, seems like a fair uh, trade to get the sweet, sweet Dunedain Hunter into play. Then I'm going to put out this eagle. Thanks, Sean, for giving me the extra cash money. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to put out Auto Win. And then I'm going to put out Galadriel's Handmaiden. Hey, bro, you mind squeezing over there? You've got about a thousand million miles of real estate. Okay, she's showing you the place. And look here, the walk-in kitchen just by Mordor. Come on, Sean. What are you doing to them? Get away from them. Okay, be gone. I banish you to your area. Look, I'm drawing a line. This is the line. Move to the right of it. Remember, I'm twitching, so I'm telling you you've got plenty of space. I think. What's so, up, Chris C D? One of our original listeners from way back in the day. Okay, can you move over, please? 
Sean, I'll just like, I'll just seriously? stop the stream until you move over. <laughs> Keep going. I will pull this stream over. Keep going. Keep going. You have so much space. You, Fine, just you, be difficult. Why do you want me over here? They are perfect because now we have room to grow. It just it just makes good sense. Okay. Unless maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. Still seems completely satisfactory to me. Because remember, Tom added the amazing feature to change this size, right? The hand size, which we don't need to see. Ooh, that's not a very good hand. Okay, go ahead, Sean. I'm ready to go. All right. Um. Well, you got Arwen out, so I'll be a team player here. <laughs> Sean's characters Give you are that. back. They need room to roam. Oh, excellent. You are a good uh, team player. Thanks a lot, Sean. I appreciate that one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be less hard on you. I don't know why I'm giving you the gears so hard tonight. I'm going to stop. Tom, just take uh, the credit, buddy. Okay? Everything good that happens, we, we credit you. Anything bad that happens, we curse some unknown Octagon developer. Oh, what's up, sassy? What's your letter say? Didn't we mention in the uh, the art episode how Gondorian women in this game are just very prone to holding documents? Holy crap. I used fellowship resources. Woman be gone. All right. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, my bad. That's it. Okay. I didn't reduce my threat when I put it into play. I don't think I did. No, you did not. I was waiting for you to, and you never did. Then okay, I forgot. cool. So there we go. It was destiny. Thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready Let's to quest? Go. I'm sending four. I'm in for six. three. Do I need you? No. I'm sending eight. So you're sending three, did you say? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going in for 11. <gasps> Here we go. This is always exciting. Pew! Saruman's orders. When revealed, each player must choose. Either return an enemy engaged with him to the staging area or reveal an encounter card. Well. I can just re-engage that dude, right? You know what I'm saying? You, Yeah, I mean, you certainly can. Okay, and, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... We still dodged his when reveal effect, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, okay, you but have I no choice cannot, but so to reveal I another one. one. So that's kind of like Surge, right? It's like double Surge if conditions are wrong you know right. those guitars that are like double guitars what movie is that from <laughs> i love that line i have no idea what movie it's from okay so that was the surge in essence it is banks of entwash it's mm -hmm. covered in blood and then the last one is ugluk urukai i don't know if you noticed this sean but it is daytime and they are running around like wild men this one archery one this is your card by the way when revealed, either increase the pursuit value by three or reveal an additional encounter card. Ugh. So we are... Oh my god, CCD, it totally is. So let's now see here. So we're currently you know, seven willpower. Oh, I can't do it. No more encounter cards. Let's put the, the pursuit value up by three. Peril? Peril. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So currently we're increasing our threat by three. So we're not making any progress, which sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just increase it by three. We need to play some catch up on these enemies. Okay, so the pursuit value is now 13. And that brings uh -huh. the questing phase nearly to an end so we have two you five, know what, what would seven, actually probably be helpful brandon ten, is what? if you t tracked the pursuit value of like resources up here so that way we know how many progress we need and it's just all right there just a thought one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen perfect oh sorry tom yeah mm -hmm. i uh i don't know either <laughs> The internet is mysterious. I'm more, I'm more, you know, it's experiencing me as much as I'm experiencing it. Okay, so now I've lost my count. What do we have? Two, so we're 10 five, to 7. 10? Yep, 10 in the staging area. And we have, we're, we're questing for 11, bro. Oh, we're 11? Yep. 
You forgot who you're playing with, son. The master <laughs> of the game. Um, so we are doing one progress. We could clear the Eastament. Yeah, we definitely want to do that, I think. Uh, by ditching a card. So I'm going to get rid of the Mirror of Galadriel. It's a tough one. I'll get rid of my Gondorian Spearman. Okay, so this goes away. Uh, response, after it's explored, add one resource to each hero's resource pool. Woohoo! Please, sir. I want some more. Look at Aragorn. He's rocking three. Spend two resources from Aragorn's pool to ready a hero. Oh my god, I could ready Boromir. <laughs> Alright, so now on to the that enemy phase. That seems like phase. the best use of that. Who do you want to engage? Oh, uh, at the beginning of combat phase, archery happens. Is that correct? Yes. Correct. Okay, so, so we've got... We have two. Three. Tree archery. I'm going to go with one, two. I'll take one. Good man. Good man. <laughs> Stokes book, I won't. I will not. Okay, so who do you want to engage, Sean, or anyone at all? We I can got take someone. Ugluk's Urukai. Pretty sure... Gee, yeah, Ugluk cannot be engaged, so we pretty much just have the two. Which one do you want? Probably the wimpier one for you, right? Cause... Well, I can hit something with... You're yeah, wimpy. yeah, probably, probably the wimpier one. I don't get toughness. Like, why is it different? How is it different from hit points or something, for instance? Because, because it also could... blocks direct damage play. So anytime for any reason they're assigned damage, you would I gotcha. I gotcha. It makes them surprisingly robust because of direct damage stuff. Mm. I hear you, brother. Okay. Would so... we like to travel to the banks of the Entwash first, perhaps? I think that would be a good idea. What is it doing right now? After any amount of progress is placed on banks, the inquash increase the pursuit. Oh boy! So we probably want to clear that in one ghost key. That would be good. This can get rid of. Hello, Jolinar, 1987, my young friend. Okay, so. Hey. Why? What year are you born in, Sean? I'm an 86er. <laughs> oh my God! You're just a puppy. That's amazing. <laughs> You must look to me as like a mentor, you know what I mean? As like uh, an elder. And I accept that. Especially when I'm watching you operate a computer. I accept you as my mentee. Okay, so <laughs> this thing is going to do horrible things. So is that. I will block with Boromir. Don't speak to me of Boromir. I know his uses and there are many. Uh, Nothing? Right now, he's blocking for two, four, five. Boromir don't care. Who are you going to block your arrow man? Uh, would you mind blocking with Boromir? I'd like to wait to chuck the boy until I need to. I love blocking with Boromir. It would be my pleasure, Sean. Fantastic. My mentor. Or mentee. Mentee. You've got to understand the value of the relationship. No shadow. Okay, so now I'm going to ready up. And we are going to crack back. So I have to kill this thing. Five, six, seven, plus one. Toughness is eight. So we'll go for three, six. Sorry, bird. Kaboom. <laughs> After an attack in which Vassal the Windlord attacked resolves, discard Vassal the Windlord from play. <laughs> that was his dying sound. Okay, go ahead and attack back. Okay, I'll swing in for eight. Kill my dude. Oh, 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 oh. That was his death sound, Sean. What do you say about... I like the artificial echo. <laughs> what do you say about control end? End, friend. That seems pretty good. Uh, end of the combat phase, though, we have to increase the pursuit value by one, because there's one enemy in the staging area. Good call. Who didn't die? Hold on. Dave's, Dave's holding the phone. Oh, Boromir. Boromir did not die. He's remarking that you've improved as a player. Oh, oh, yes. Funny, Dave. Oh, never mind. He's talking about the eagle. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's... Oh, that's because that's what eagles do, right? Yeah, okay. Now that's we true. get it. Dave's like Gandalf. They're murdered. You know, he's he's talks and puzzles. Okay, go ahead. Just transient in nature. <laughs> go ahead, Sean. <clears throat> Look at um. Owen. Are you More pretty set eyeshadow. to? Am I what? Are you pretty set? Are you pretty set to be a sentinel defender friend? 
if you're asking me if I'm ready to be completely awesome all game, the answer, my friend, is yes. Okay, then I'll put Firefoot on Aomer because he's begging for it. Cool. That's it for me. I am going to play my favorite piece of art. Oh, spoiler alert, if you're going to listen yes. to the podcast tomorrow. Blood of Numenor. But there are so many that I love, like Rock Adder. God, there's a lot of good cards. Okay, and then I will play... <laughs> Did you... Did you just put Rock Adder right next to Blood of Numenor? At least put, like, some token art in between the two. I really like the Rock Adder art, man. It's snaky, dry body. Anyways. It's, it's very gray. <laughs> uh, I play out the Handmaiden of Galadriel. Lovely. Thus increasing my already maxed out questing power. Ready, Sean, for questing? It's you that starts. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, hang on, we missed this. This triggers as well at the end of the refresh phase. So, one more pursuit. At the end of the refresh phase, increase the pursuit value by one. Then, if the pursuit value is 30 or greater, mm -hmm. we're halfway there. Yeah, it was hard to find a lot of bad art, Chad, because so much of it is awesome sauce. If you want to find bad art, just go on Hall of Bayorn card search and type in the word Gollum. They all suck. <laughs> Okay, quest away, Shawnee. Two, four, five. Five, pretty good. I will send four, five, six, seven, eight. So we are doing 13, as Jared would say. Ready for encounter right. cards? Let's do it. This one's yours. <laughs> the Eastern Net. Eastern System Net. Skynet. When it's the active location, <laughs> it gains response after Skynet is explored. Cool. Oh, but it, the travel cost is naughty. Here's my card. The whole world. I got the whole world in my hands. Uh, while the world is the active location, it gains response. After the world is explored, each player draws one card. Oh, cool. Yeah, let's definitely go there. Yeah. Yeah, we will. Now, Oops. I just want to stop for a moment <laughs> and remark. right away. <laughs> Remark on the, the brilliance of design here. Go ahead. So you know how the, the designers have been kind of teching against Asphaloth's Northern Tracker, Ride to Ruin, whatever mm -hmm. the direct progress stuff that we have? Yeah, now you lose the benefit. Exactly. Now it's totally fine to do it. It's It helps you get out of location lock, which is generally why you do it anyway. Yeah. But Crafty bastards, the eh? They're, they're, they're schemy and evil. You know, they're great guys. <laughs> But, like, at the end of the day, if, if law breaks down and the world starts to go apocalyptic, avoid Caleb and Matt. Because we know <laughs> they that will they, be running the Thunderdome. <laughs> they have a dark streak. Okay, I'm going to add up the threat to four. Uh, what are we at? Seven. And we did 13. Okay, 13, so all right, cool. Six progress. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's the all first right. one. Yep. We have to and increase pursuit the pursuit value. value. Goes up by one. Yeah. Yep. Bing. What's nine? I'm curious. One to ten. Ten being amazing. What do you guys rate the art as a whole in the game? Hell yeah, nine. I think that's what I said too. That is what you said. Smart. I think you said nine point five. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Because I was looking right Throwing at. Throwing in an arbitrary decimal. Right at Rock Adder. Okay, so I'm going to say let's go to the wolves, which you also agreed with. Oh, boring. Sure. That's it? We're done? Increase the pursuit value by three. And Why we're done. three? Oh, because one, one for, for traveling, traveling yep. one for the quest, and one mm -hmm. for to Isengard. Correct. Holy crap, holy, that pursuit value is increasing quickly. They are fast. Those are Rakai. We need to quest like nuts next turn. I'm really they hoping. run as if the whips of their masters are at their backs. <laughs> let's chase them. Come on, let's go chase them. Okay, so now Love we're going to control N. Nope. New window. Wow, it's the first time I've ever done that. I smell man flesh. We're being there chased. There it is. Someone's chasing us. Come on, run. God, I can't get over that word, chase. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to pay one and play uh, the hidden cache, which wants to go to the staging area. Spend one resource to draw one card we'll do hello that worked let me just look at my 
look at all cards. Okay, yeah, these aren't helping me right now. Welcome to the world, Dunedain Hunter. This is going to assure action, too, which is awesome by me. Uh, that dog look at what? top X cards. Fumph. Yeah, you seem pretty good to come out. Ooh, I don't think I want you. First player attaches one captives to him. If if she attached captive, you to want nice me. I need This guy's you a douche. He just comes and interferes with the capturing. Oh Grishnak! Oh yeah. is my favorite card in this quest. That he takes control of the captive? Yeah, well no, I don't like him, but design wise he's my favorite card in the quest. He's, he's the usurper from the Mordor section of the orcs who come in and are just like... And he's hurting them. Yep. Okay, so we're going to bring in this sum of B, because I don't want his when revealed effect to go off. Um, That's it for me, Sean. Unless you have a way that I can draw cards. Uh, I don't currently know. Okay. I'll throw down a defender of Ramas. Mr. That'll be it for Loverman. me for now. Ramus. Let's put a maggot hog in your belly. Whoa, Sean. Oh, you're you're being orc. I'm being Grishnak, yes. <laughs> okay, uh you How about their legs? They don't need those. I'm uh I'm player one? Yep. Four yeah, you are. five six seven eight nine ten. Ten from me, brother. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? You frame of view ruining some of ya. Whoops. Don't worry, Brian. Okay, so I'm, I'm in for seven. Okay, so we're doing 17. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. The first card is mine. Uh-oh. Guy went to a death metal concert. Strange weariness. When revealed, each character committed to the quest Ugh. gets minus one willpower until the end of the round. So I'm going down by one, two, three, four. And you're going down by one, two, three. Two, three. Mm -hmm. We're still at ten. Okay, here's your card, Sean. Z Fighting Urukai. Peril. When revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for an Urukai enemy. Reveal it. And put it into play, engage with you. Shuffle the encounter deck until the end of the round. Each enemy engaged with you adds its threat to the total threat in the staging area. Oh my god. Can you do Devar, all that you're... without me? Or do you need me to do um, I think I need you. <laughs> I mean, I could I could take control, but then you've got to take control back. So, unless, unless Tom knows a trick that I don't. I'm just going to pass the control to you. There you go. Yeah. You will take the Orokai to Mordor. Taco Bell's least successful slogan. So I need an Urukai specifically. Oh, and the stupid little Snaga are not Urukai. Sean, I think I told you, but I don't know if I've told the world, that uh, I've, I'm on a bit of a diet. Not that I needed to go on a diet, but it was choice for health reasons. Um, mm -hmm. But when I get to Gen Con, gloves are off. It's been an effective diet. I just stopped eating shit. And uh, lo and behold, I lost 15 pounds and feel great. Surprise, surprise. Uh, let's see. Tom's ears were burning. Tom, we said, uh, you know, did you know a slick way to pass the encounter deck back and forth? It was just Sean being difficult. <laughs> Chase me, voice. Chase me, Tom! Tom's regretting agreeing to get a hotel with us now. Um. Yeah. Okay. So never mind. I have Gandalf. This is totally fine. Thanks for ruining Oops. the frame of view. I just Sean. did it again, didn't I? <laughs> Oops! I did it again. Remember when Britney Spears is so popular? I still like her. Oh yeah, I do. Is he joining you as an ally, Sean? Yep. <laughs> he is my fighting Urukai. I love being out during the day. <laughs> I'm never going back to Mordor. All right, so oh, reveal. I assigned Twins. three damage. Emo <clears throat> what? We each have one. Oh yeah, that's that's sweet. You're keeping up with the chances. Um, so I'm gonna assign three damage to Gandalf. 
Seems like a good choice. Yeah, I, I don't know, Bardley, but I'm going to eat so much Steak and Shake this year because I feel like, like, Steak and Shake is, I guess, the highlight of Gen Con for me, other than seeing people in real life. And last know, year, man. we only was went underrepresented. Yeah, and that's why. We're once. making up for lost time from last year. Well, that's because you, you know, turned your eye to the kilt. Yeah, I did love the kilt, though, by I really did. They, you know, the they had Boddington's on go... tap. Yeah, it was good. It's is a good extremely bar. hard to find in the U.S. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was fine. The, you know, we maybe should have gone that fourth time when Jared was falling asleep in his beer. But other than that, it was good. <laughs> it was good. But Sean, do you know the movie Twenty Eight Days Later, where I'm the aware, monkeys yes. get in, in, infected with the rage virus? I may have heard of it. The infrequency of our visits to Steak and Shake made me angrier than the monkeys that are affected with the rage virus. So this year we have to rectify that and go there a lot. Dude, nothing got added to the staging area technically. That's true. No um, except for my guy is still contributing his threat. Okay, so he's contributing two, four, seven to our ten. We do three progress. I'll chuck a black arrow because I don't have a ranged character. There you go. I'll chuck one of these because I just don't care. So we're doing how much progress now? Five? Sounds right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is done. After the world is explored, each player draws a card. <whistles> Scottish Hooters, buddy. Bogey, how you doing, brother? Oh, God, I just drew a really good card. I was excited to see Bogey, and now I'm excited to see Gondorian Fire. It's just a good day in Brandon land. How many tacos can Brandon eat? The most I ever ate in one shot was in university when a guy talked smack to me. 16 in one go. I did 10 of the Doritos one at Gen Con the other, a couple of years ago, but I was super hungover and feeling rough. I, I know I could do 15 without even blinking. 16? It's extra. Steak and Shake Stokes Book is an amazing restaurant. I am really, really excited to go there again. I love me some Wisconsin buttery. You know, Bogey's from Wisconsin, and it's probably my favorite state, I think, right now, of all the yeah. United States of America. Yeah. Cheese, butter. Wisconsin, GG, Wisconsin is to Minnesota as Canada is to the U.S. Where is Milwaukee? Is it in Wisconsin? Yes. Is it really? It is. <laughs> that is the best state ever, then, because I love their beer and cheese and butter. What an awesome state. Way to go, Wisconsin. Okay, so let's do the fighting now. Um, yep, so hang on. My dude pops back. I'm going to go ahead and... Why can I not shadow uh, him? Ready him. and Oh, yeah, because I took control. I'll shadow him. Oh, there you go. And then I'll play Valiant Sacrifice and draw a couple cards. Okay. Cool. I will block um, with... What? We've got four archery. Oh. Oh, jeez. Put it on Gandalf. He's in my hand. He's dead, Jim. I'll do... Oh, freak <laughs> balls. I will do two damage to my guys. Okay, I'll take I think one. that's fair. You know what I mean? You should take two now. I took two. Did you take two? I'm afraid to get Aomer all the way down and Dimmerhill. Oh, wait, are you fine to defend for me? Yeah. Okay. I took yeah, two. Yeah, I am. Even though you have a defender of Ramas, but yeah, I am. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm going to defend with Boromir, and the shadow is no shadow. Jonathan? Yep. Defend with Ramas. Are you sure? Do you want me to do Bor? Whoa. Yeah, that's fine. Attacking, um, I guess, so he's plus one. Four to my four. He's fine. Cool. <whistles> Boromir pops up. Wait, does he even need to? No. Boromir. Down, boy. You've got some <laughs> new friends now. Easy, see this. The Dunedain Hunter, son. Four, five, six. Kills it. What are you attacking for? Um, seven, ten. Kills I don't it. even need to attack with Emmerhill, but I feel like, you know, bros kill orcs together. Sean, I don't want to uh, jinx us, but we're doing pretty good, in my opinion. Other than uh, that we're... horrible pursuit value that's ratchet. I was up. about to say, we're managing enemies just fine. It's the it's the pursuit that's going to kill us. My theory, because I've never successfully pursu pursued them, as Dave G can attest to, 
is that when we catch them, there's going to be a huge brouhaha. <laughs> a real Donnybrook. A serious dust-up. A <laughs> Donnybrook? Yeah, Donnybrook, a fight. Uh, okay. Yeah, I've, I've heard all of those other ones except the Donnybrook. <laughs> oh, it's a, probably a Canadian thing. But someone will be really? like, oh, bud, you see the Donny at the hockey game there the other day? And they're talking about a fight. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jimmy got felled, eh? Bobby jerseyed him, just felled him. Okay, so I'm go. Oh, it's your turn. <laughs> Maybe the most Canadian thing I've ever heard in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Pass me that fucking burr. Okay, go ahead, bro. Um, all right, so you can't take damage, so there's really not a whole lot of point to that. Yeah, Calgary's good eating. Land of steak. One, two. Skip a few. 99, 100. Two. Are you spending Aragorn resources? Yeah, we only need an even number, so I just spent one. Very well. Oh, look. This is Scott, Canadian, doesn't know what a Donnie is, but Dave G does know what a Donnie Brook is. Because Dave G's <laughs> a fighter. It's his Scottish roots. He's used to fighting. Okay, uh, are you done? I think so. Tuss I don't, I don't see any points in... Oh, shoot, he's McGee. My whole plan just died. I was going to put Secret Vigil on Oogluke, but he can't have attachments. Mm, oh. Yeah. Oh, worst. Oh. Okay, so I guess I will just have to play Gondorian Fire. Guess that's what I have to do. What I am going to do is I am going to use Dwarven Tomb to bring back my discarded Dwarven Tomb. That seems wasteful. <laughs> I'll see if you're paying attention. <laughs> Davy G, you're Irish! That explains the love of the potatoes. Okay, go <laughs> ahead, uh, Sean. It's cool. I, I have understand. a brother-in-law who's Irish, so I can attack them with impunity. Ugh. Well, you're going to have to fight the O'Reillys. <laughs> um, so I'm going to sneak attack Gandalf in again because I drew another sneak attack. So why sure. Not? Seems good. What's All he right, doing? So four, what did he do? Six. What did, what did oh, Gandalf he's, do? He's what did gonna he draw do? Me some cards. Okay. Yeah, or should I lower my threat? No, we're fine. Cool. Um, so we're six, seven, eight, nine, ten on my side. Chat room, what are some other names for a fight? I'm going to do four, five, six, seven, eight on my side. Did you say eight? I'm ten. Oh, jeez. We're doing 18. You quested for more than I did? Damn it. You got it, buddy. Damn it, it's happening again. Okay, uh, here we go. This is your encounter card, Sean. Enjoy it. Bam. Unseen barrier. <laughs> oh, it's like he's looking at something. Eh. The players cannot place more than three progress on the current quest this round. Does not Something count. Something gives placement. unnatural speed to these beasts. Sets its will against us. Like an unseen barrier? Like. What All is right. an unseen barrier? Yeah, brouhaha dust up too that I already said. <laughs> okay, uh, my encounter card. Ba-doom. It is Oogluk's Uruk High. Hi. Yeah. We gotta reveal another card. When revealed, either increase the pursuit value or reveal. Oh, frig, I'll I'll re reveal another one. Okay. Uh oh, Schnaga, Mr. Loverman, Peril Archery One. When revealed, discard one random card from your hand. Snaga gets plus one threat until the end of the round, where X is the discarded progress. So it's gonna be one random discard. It's my other dwarven tomb. Rumble, yeah, that's it. Rumble a tussle. Uh, okay, so we've got two, four, six, nine to our 18. So we do nine. Oh, three progress. Yeah, we do three progress. <laughs> Fair play to you, game. One. Frick. That might One, be what kills two, us. Three. Well, if we it doesn't, it'll make us stronger. Hmm. All right, so Easter Met. No, yeah, well, maybe hey, we should Brandon. just quest over that. Hold on, how many potatoes does it take to starve an Irishman? I'll bite. Okay, now you're gonna have to wait five minutes. Let's keep playing. <laughs> Dude, I don't have your internet. 
Watch. He'll reply in mere moments. None. Well, Get Scott, it? that, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because it was like a famine or something? <laughs> yeah, there was there was a thing. There was a little thing that happened in Ireland. I know. I listened to Sinead O'Connor back in the day. Okay, so we've got uh, <laughs> progress on there. Who do you want to engage? <laughs> Probably Snaga, That's right? That's the same. You want to do Snaga? You I'm fine with either. To take the Snaga, right? Because you're, you're, you're more delicate. I can take, I can take and probably kill both if you want to block for me. Well, why would you take both? I want to kill. I'm gonna take this. I guy. don't know. So you don't have to. Well, so you don't have to ready Boromir as many times. Oh, don't worry about that. Wait, when can mm-hmm. I play this? Oh, it's an attachment. We're just killing everything so quick. Okay, uh, let's go with the Shadow cards. One for your dude, and one for my dude. Who's gonna block the Kay. Snaga? Did you want me to? We've got we've got two archery. Oh. Um. um can, can we start tapping Aragorn a little bit here? Pop a couple on yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Put two on Aragorn. Okay. Um, I think Ooh, I will block. Oh, a little argy bargy. Who do you want to block? Sorry. I'm block with uh. Nope, not Dimmer Hill. I have you, a defender. I can block, guy. Don't even feel awkward about asking. Okay, Ramos. Attacking makes plus one attack. If this attack destroys a character, increase the pursuit value by one. It increases it to four, which is equal to its defense. No damage. Okay, then I will block with... Whoa. Easy, Boromir. He's getting excited. No shadow, no shadow, no shadow. Do I need five, six? Oh, yeah, Boromir, you're going to have to participate. Okay, Sean, are you going to attack back? He is very dead. You have to do argy bargy in a Cockney accent. Oi, let's do an argy bargy. Okay, so you're gonna attack uh, the Snaga. Mm-hmm. For, For seven. Seven. That's sufficient. My only my Cockney comes from Warhammer Orcs. <laughs> That's where I get it from. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna attack back for three, six, nine, killing it. Enjoy your toughness, right. bro. Control N. You know, I could do this all day, Sean, but we're not really doing much. You understand what I'm saying? We'll see. What yeah, I need is value goes up three more. What I need is Galadriel. She really is the glue that brings this whole deck together. Yeah. I just think we have more enemy management than we need and not enough questing. I should have picked a different deck. Yeah. I'm glad you recognized it as your error since my deck was loaded <laughs> first. Okay, here's... <laughs> I will uh, play nothing. Your turn, Sean. That was exciting. I don't have any willpower to bring out. I can play Gandalf next turn. DVD. Okay, uh, so that's it. We're both going to do nothing. Well, that's really uh, helping our plight. Oh, we didn't add um, (laughs) Pursuit when we control N, did we? No, we did not. So three. (laughs) Wait, why three? Isn't it just two? Um, quest, Ugluk. No, is it two? I think it's just two. Is it two? Okay, two. Yeah. So we'll increase that by two. Oh, right. Yeah, three was that one this time because we forgot now, to travel right? effect. The unseen barrier. We're pre- yeah, yeah, it's away. Someone saw it, finally. Oh, it's a wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> quest, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten from me. What will you get Four. when you eat lots of sweets? Um, Eating as much as an elephant eats. I don't think my line was correct. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was going for exactly what you you said, but I realized that I don't think that's the actual lyrics. Okay, you're sending what, Sean? Four. Four to my ten. So we're doing fourteen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Here's my card. When revealed. I'm going to cancel that. Perfect. Kapow. Welcome to Cancel Town. You just entered your Carlsberg years. And Banks of the Entwash. 
I will happily chuck for Eowyn. Is end wash like... So we're at 15? What comes out of their bums after they bathe? I believe it is. Okay, so we are going to each chuck. I'm not chucking. Nope. Yeah, that's fine. So we're at 15. And the encounter deck is showing 8. So we're doing 7 progress. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. what is it? Is it F3? Son of a bitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I say seven? Seven. Mm-hmm. And we need X to beat it, which is 21. God, it's like they keep putting distance on us. <laughs> <laughs> Thematically genius. Okay, where do we want to travel? Do we? I, I, I don't, I don't want to. Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, I'm just wondering at this point if it's easier for us to try to quest over them and get progress on the quest or try to eliminate some threat. I think I think we want to maybe just quest over them. Just 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 ignore them. Yeah. Even though one is 3. Okay. Yeah, but it's going to soak up 5 of our progress, so it's a net loss. Agreed. I fully agree. Uh, let's control N. I'm going to increase the threat value or the pursuit value or the F that's called by 2. <laughs> Control N. Come on, good card draw. Come on, good card draw. Oh, God. Bloody hell. No Stargazer. No Ziggy. No Mirror. No fun. No fun for Brandon. Okay, are you player 1 now? You took Aragorn? Yes, I did. Steward. Hello. You should have put that on Boromir. I'm just saying. So he can crush. You've got a, you've got a healthy, Luke. healthy stack over there. Do you have an ally in your hand of cost two or less that you'd like to get on the table? No, I do not, sir. Yeah. I have not allies. None. Um. So if I use two resources from Argorn, I can get Gandalf and another willpower ally down. Do it. I think you mean... Aragorn, but whatever, do it. <laughs> you know, like the way I pronounce the name? I think you said uh, Gandalf, bro. Oh, did I say Gandalf? I'm not going to say for sure. I'll let the chat window destroy you. I'm helping a friend fix her PC. Yeah, yeah, that's how desperate she is. And it says, we need to restart your PC now, and it's frozen. Interesting. Okay, so um, my turn. I do nothing. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so let's quest. Send it everything. Send everything. How many people should we send to the quest? Right, so we are Everyone! So I'm in for 11. And I'm in for 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're doing 19. Hey, Hope make it enough. 20. Why not? 21. <laughs> okay. 22. 21. We can ready a couple of heroes. Okay, we're going for 22, Sean. You know what I mean? And that one of my things in life is, you know, go all out. Balls to the wall. As Scott likes to call it, the YOLO quest. YOLO. Yep, I like that too. It's good. Not Watto. Watto. Oh, the Plains of Rohan. We haven't seen that before. Oh, what a douche. It's countering the strategy that we just devised. <laughs> it totally is. Uh-oh. <laughs> Rest by night? Because it's a question. When revealed, either immediately end the quest phase and increase the pursuit value by three, or deal one damage to each character committed to the quest. This effect cannot be canceled. God damn it. Ooh. <laughs> How is this not easy mode removable? And what is what is Aragorn holding? Oh, it's a brooch. Or a brooch, mm-hmm. if you will. I might. Alright, so... We don't want to end because we are coming up against it here. What's going to happen if we take damage? On I'm going to lose... On my end, I will lose two willpower. I will lose three. Three willpower. So Five altogether will be at a 17. I think that's still probably acceptable. 
I'm losing a lot of people. I know, me too. Okay, dead, dead. Injured, injured, injured. Angry face. Okay, so I lost, what did I say, three? One, two, three, and you lost how much? No, you lost, you lost two, didn't you? No. No, I lost no. three. I lost three. You lost three. I lost three as well. Okay, so we're requesting for six to, sixteen. Okay, so we have X. X is the number of location stage area. So that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. To our sixteen, we make five progress. I will ditch this I'll time. Check. So we make seven progress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, stupid Ugluk. I'll pound his face what in. What does your anus think of that? It does not like the sound of it. Okay, so we are... <laughs> back My goodness. on. Back on to control ending. And the thing is going to go up by two. Well, unless unless we actually want to travel this oh, time. Oh, yeah, let's travel. I say we make I feel the like planes, planes of, of Rohan. Rohan. What did you good. say? Did you say planes yep. of Rohan? I, I agree. You owe me a beer. Ah, uh, haven't checked this one out yet. Thanks. Oh, yes. Yes, Vardane. That's what happened. They're captives. Okay. You know what card is really good in this quest that we've neglected to include in our decks? Will the you three hunters. Us? What, what is it? The three hunters? The three hunters. What does it do again? Remind me. Three fellowship resources. Uh-huh. Ready three heroes committed to the quest, and they get plus one everything till the end of the round. How's that so great? That wouldn't do much for us. Because we can do YOLO quest and get a willpower boost. Oh, okay, yeah, that does sound pretty good. Not yeah. gonna lie to you. Control and. Yep. This goes up. We at two. 25. Ugh. Don't worry, bro. We got this. We got this. If they win, come on, chap. We'll win. Hello! Just got a questing boost. B -b -b Big time. I think I'm just going to play him out. You know what I mean? Is Aragorn right now? Know, take. You know what strategy with your deck would actually be really good tech against this quest? You're saying I'm remember not playing you, my deck optimally, Sean? I remember when you had that idea to put in uh, Song of Travel and get it on Boromir and then use Lay of Nimrodel to oh, yeah. use his resources for a huge quest? Yes. Would be perfect for this quest. Yeah, but it was just one more combo piece where I could not do it. Okay, so I'm going to play one, two, three. Hard casting. Bow for something I do not often do. Hmm. Yep. Because no point. I don't have horn, so I can't do my whole shift to tactics resource trick. Go ahead, Sean. Mm, nor would it benefit you very much anyway. No. Um, uh, you thanks. Have no so, no reason to have the mirror in Brandon's game. deck then. You are correct, Wandering Took. If you built your deck specifically for this quest, you could do some shenanigans. Number one, you choose a captive that's going to have the absolute lowest starting threat. Uh, and number two, if it it changes your sphere balance, you can adjust for it. And you could do things like remove mirror if you know Galadriel's going to get caught. But Sean and I don't mm. roll that way. Okay? We both like to go au naturel. Um, are, are you done, Sean? Yeah, I think so. I don't think I've got any... I don't have any willpower. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll call In it good. game, or...? Um, well, you know what I can do is I will get an Aaron Rider down to soak up one archery damage. There you go. Possibly two. Okay, that's it for me. Four, five, six, excuse me. Seven, eight, nine, ten. For me. I, I'm in for two. I could go three if we're fine Eleven. readying Aomer with Argorn. So you're you're sending two, you said? I'm in for three. Okay, so we're at 14. Okay, here we go. This is my card. Oh, God. Oh, no! Cock Smash, or whatever his name is. Grin, Grinch, 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 huh. How about their <laughs> legs? I don't need those. Grishnak. Look at his blade. You know I'm a knife guy. Come on, <laughs> bud. Number one, you've got serrations, so you're an amateur. And number two, sharpen that thing. Forced, after Grishnash enter play, the first player attaches one of the captives to him. 
Oh, that's that's nice of you. If Grishnash is defeated, place the attached captive face up underneath the eyes of God. Forced. At the end of the quest phase, deal one damage to the attached captive. He's being rough with them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Your card, Sean. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Just got an ICQ <laughs> message. Hold on. When revealed, each player committed to the quest gets minus one willpower until the end of round. So I am down one, two, three, four, five. I'm down two of my three. We are down to seven. I think that might have been the turn point of the game right there. That's the TSN turning point. Oh, you guys don't have TSN. It's like Canadian ESPN. Yeah. And they have this moment called the TSN turning point. Why, okay, so got... why would we need TSN if we have ESPN? Wow. No, you wouldn't. That's why I'm saying you don't have it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve to R seven. I'll uh, gladly check. I will also check. So we're at nine. What did I say to twelve? So we're going up by three. Mm. Things are going south quickly. Do we? Okay, continue. Let's let's soldier <laughs> yeah. on, my wayward son. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to engage C Smash, right? Ob, sure. Uh, ready up, Boromir, because uh, I'm a hater. Control S. I'm gonna block with Boromir. Norton, so he gets Jack Squat. Boromir readies up. I need nine to kill him. So I will pay one for Gondorian fire. So Boromir is now a ten. He will kill him alone. Don't even worry about it, Dunedain Hunter. Okay, stay patient with your bow. So Grishnash is destroyed. Legolas goes back into hiding. When did Grishnash's trigger happen? At the end of the quest phase. Deal one damage to the attached captive. So Legolas gets a damage. Oh, and a progress token too. He can have everything. <laughs> okay, uh, well, that was exciting. Control N. Yep, 27, Control N. <laughs> Play the heartbeat sound. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> it's 27 to 20 in a super close game. The pursuit value keeps coming out ahead of the progress tokens. Okay, so I'm going to... I don't know how they're going to pull it out here, Jim. They seem pretty terrible tonight. One of the teammates sure is not pulling his weight, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> kind of seems like player one's being a little bit of a glory hog tonight. He might want to share the ball a little bit. <laughs> He's a huge douche. <laughs> Wait, that's me. Okay, so uh, go ahead, sir. Um, I sadly have nothing to play. And they call it a mine. A mine! Er. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> this is a lot of, a lot of excitement for literally nothing. <laughs> you know, if you look at how Zigil Miner is holding his pickaxe about the middle, so he's choking up on it big time. His face looks calm. I think he's phoning it in. He is. He's not even mining hard at all. Hi, Matthew yeah, Narsil, that is, 0420. Hey, that I'm is a weak lever. Oh, there you go. Yeah, like honestly, like choke down on that thing, get your hands together, give it. He kind of has a pot belly. He's not working too hard. Matthew Narsil 0420, you're playing it like right now at the exact same time, or you're going to play it later, or you did play it? That's so meta. I don't even know. Okay, so let's uh, quest. I definitely don't do Ziggy. I have no need for resources. So I sent. Oh, sorry, you go ahead. Uh, five. I'm setting nine, so we're doing fourteen. That is not going to be enough. Here we go. Control E for you. Urukai fighter. Oh God, is that a woman? Very well, <laughs> um, looks like the crone from Legend. Toughness 2, forced after Urukai fighter attacks and destroys a character, returns to the stadium. Okay, and uh, my card. 
Oh, shooties McGee. Oh, we're done. GG's, bro. This G is over. G's. No, it's not over, Sean. All right. All right. So our thingy is 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. To our 14, we do 3 progress. Can you pitch? I will gladly pitch. Okay, and uh, I'm thinking, what? Either... We, we, we gotta go to Muddy Banks. We cannot go to Easternet. Oh, we are dead, because there's an extra stupid thing in the staging area right now. Oh, no, we're gonna pull it out. Never mind. We're gonna pull it out. Oh, wait, hang on. Do we want to travel? Because that's still gonna eat up five progress, and it's only contributing three threat. Okay, I guess not. Alright. Uh, it has no archery... Get over here! So that thing <laughs> comes to me. Oh, sorry, I'm not playing Scorpagorn. Looks like the old lady from Dark Crystal. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Find the Gelflings! Oh my god, I love that movie. A Gelfling? Alive! How can that be? We killed them all. Oh, it's such a good movie. Have you seen it, John? That's a children's movie? Yep. No, I have not seen Dark Crystal. I've seen Labyrinth and Legend, and I think that's like the triumvirate. Okay, so now we've got this lying attack. And they had phones in Dark no, Crystal? No, that was this like Gelfling girl making the sound to call these two flying animals. That made this sound. Okay, so now I'm going to block with Boromir. Shadow, discard a non-objective attachment you control. You son of a... Ah, you don't need the shield. See, I was going to get rid of uh, blood. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. YOLO, Sean. Okay, and then... Oh, boy. I better be careful. I'll ready up. <laughs> uh, I will attack it back for... Three, four, five. Yeah, six is enough. Enough. I'm at 48 threat. Oh, no, you need seven. Kind of didn't notice. Why? I need seven? <laughs> There we go. Yeah, because he has toughness too. No. Uh, that's not good. Okay, so now right. uh, control N. Yep. Did anyone leave play? No. God, if I don't get I any threat die. reduction stuff, I'm screwed. Here we go. Oh. I uh, I think I just opened a new window in Firefox. There we go. <laughs> Oh, awesome right. card, but not what I need. Okay, so this goes up by two. I think that's it, Sean. Unless you have a way to reduce my threat. Yeah, you know what, Chad? I think you're exactly right. Aomer has gone largely unused because Brandon's actually pulling his combat weight, and Legolas's progress would have been oh so helpful. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. true. What was your rationale for, for keeping him and doing what you did, Sean? I had more stuff in the deck based on characters leaving play, so I just assumed Aomer would be better. Oh, okay. You just thought you could eke more advantage out of him. Yep, but I didn't need the enemy management as much as we needed the progress. Yeah. Well, hindsight, what do they say, is is what's behind you or something. Okay, so let's... Uh, do we even do this, or is, is there any point? Yeah, no point. it's done. Yeah, it's done. That's GG's? Because... That's GG's. Oh, God, we had been on a bit of a hot streak lately, hey? We we were doing quite well. Like, even you and I, when we played off stream, had been just killing it. And now mm -hmm. look at us. Now look at us. <gasps> Two look failures. Us Two losers. Uh, I Washed got... up. What? Spent. What movie is that from? I don't know. I was just oh, you're being just... dramatic. <laughs> just getting dramatic. Look what I had. <laughs> Hiya. The Horn of Gondor. Thank you, guys. I'll I, learn from your failure. You, may have <laughs> you are welcome, sir. Well, wow, so, that was fun. Yeah, you know what? I did have a good time, though. I really mm -hmm. like this quest, folks. If you haven't had a chance to play it, uh, you know... It's the only one out of this box that I've played so far, and I really, really like it. Uh, it's fun. In the whole 
way that they absolutely nailed the theme of the pursuit. You know, we were saying that Caleb and Matt are evil, but they're also wise, you know what I mean? They're kind of like Gollum. They have a part, a part to play in this thing yet, for either good or for ill. But, you know, they did a brilliant job of trying, or of creating a pursuit, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. It hey, does Ted, feel... you didn't miss anything, bud, <laughs> except for the triumphant loss. But we came pretty close, you know what I mean? I want to find out who has, and it'll probably be when I play with Dave G, who has the worst pursuit to progress ratio. You know what I mean? Is there anyone that did, like, 30 to nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Where Aragorn and the guys didn't even make chase? It's like, come on, let's chase them! No. Nah. No, I'm going to stay right here. I've got some of the halflings leaf. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't even get into the gate. Very dangerous across short distances. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sprinting. My axe. So then they just don't even go. <laughs> so, folks, uh, you know, sorry that we lost, but I hope that you extracted some enjoyment of seeing us give it a fair go. Uh, he, oh, partly got a 30 to nothing loss. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Woot, there it is. Beautiful. The non-starter. I guess technically <laughs> so did Dave G and I, because Boromir got cloven in two first card. <laughs> and we scooped. Uh, so I guess that wasn't 30 to nothing loss. That was just a, a, a done. Gotta warm up those hammies. Yep, definitely. I'm a huge proponent of stretching. I played... Uh, uh, flag football. I don't know if you guys have that in America. I know you love your violence. We do? Okay, so we played flag football today. Uh, teachers against students. And I I despise injury. Uh, so the game was to begin, but I warmed up and stretched for at least half an hour. Because I don't screw around with injuries. I really, really think it's valuable uh, to model appropriate warming up and stretching for young people, even though they didn't appreciate it. <laughs> but the, the the next thing, and another guy was making fun of me, and he hurt his knee. Coincidence? There you go. He didn't he didn't warm up at all. He was just like, let's go. Running around on the field, and he limped off the field. You guys have flag hockey? I don't even know how that would work. Uh, but it sounds interesting. That is probably a lie. Yes. Yes. So, folks, uh, what I'm going to do right now... Oh, shoot. That person whose laptop I'm trying to fix, I just, like, rebooted it. It finally did reboot. And now it's at this HP screen with this swirly series of dots going around and around and around and around. It's been like that for about 20 minutes. What do you What do you guys think? Should I leave it or uh, do something about that? Yeah, I don't know. Did you do, like, a clean install of Windows or something? No, but uh, I 20 did 20 minutes seems like a long loop. To Windows 8.1. I just did that. That's why mm -hmm. I wanted to reboot, because it wanted to update to Windows 8.1. So maybe leave it no, for I might leave it for a little bit. It's, it's, yeah, maybe for half an hour or something. Uh, wow, computers, eh? They're wonderful. <laughs> who who decides that? Well, anyways, I, I do have some secret skill. Oh, Ted is saying no, shut it down. Mm, I'm going to trust my gut on this one. Uh, I'm going to let her go. Throw out a second floor window and then burn down your house before reinstalling windows. <laughs> <laughs> no choice here, brother. If it was me, I would just, you know, well, reinstall windows. But I would put 7 on, not 8. Or Linux, but not Ubuntu. Bogey's saying leave it, and he's like some DARPA security guy, so I am going to listen to Bogey. <laughs> he knows computers. So, Sean, uh, do we talk about Gen Con or is it too soon? It's never too soon. I know. I'm now really that we're excited. registered, man, it's like, it's on the horizon. You know what's interesting, though? I don't even have a badge yet because I'm waiting for the results of my press badge. And I'd be really surprised if we got a press badge last year and then now we don't, unless they actually checked up to see what I did with the press badge, which was, well, I guess we did our Gen Con wrap up. I did what I was supposed to do. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um... I'm excited for it. You you guys know, and Sean, stop me if I'm revealing too much, okay? Because you know how I am with secrets. Terrible. Oh, are you? No, don't. You don't talk about my swag. You can talk about your swag. Well, all I was going to say is that there's two swags. You know, okay, everybody well, kind of knows that they're going <laughs> to get, get for the, the uh, sort of, you know, in your face Brandon swag. It's going to be the the big hotness. But, uh, <laughs> but we're also cooking up a second piece of brain swag it's gonna be awesome 
And, then, and the fact is, you know, it's you. I think we should do the live episode at the bar so that people, the friends, the listeners of COTR can get the experience of, of what it's like to actually be there uh, for that part. You know what I mean? Well, you know, I, I'm i all for doing maybe just like a little YouTube roundup. I feel like video would probably be a better medium for that. With our human faces? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. They're out there now. Yeah, I, I say fine. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, it'll test better with the ladies if I got my mug on there. So let's let's do video. <laughs> I'm, of course, <laughs> kidding. But yeah, I think a video is a good idea. We can even show what we got. You know what I mean? Exactly. I, I recently kickstarted a game. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe it will be there at Gen Con and I can get it. What is it called? That Mare, Mare Nostrum or something? Mare, Mare Nostrum? I think it's called Mare Nostrum. Yeah, it seems to be rolling right off my tongue. All right. I, uh, should I bring my iron? Yes, bogey. Okay, no one wants uh, crumpled shirts. Uh, is... Yeah, it's uh, formal dress only. I'll be wearing my tuxedo. Hi, NK2. Are you uh, are you just joining us now? Sean, are we able to live stream on Twitch from Gen Con? Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure we could make that work. I know there are there are apps that do that. However, what I is an question... App? I'm screwing with you. Really? I totally know. <laughs> I totally know it's one of those programs on your phone. I, I question the ability of any phone connection to actually stream high quality video. But Do they uh, have Wi Fi at the Twisted Kilt? Probably. Are we talking about doing it at the event? At our listener event? Oh, were we talking about doing it there? I thought we were talking about doing it at the Twisted Kilt. Oh. Because the listener event, I'm busy. Both. I'm focused. Get Sean to live stream it from his phone will probably buffer less than this evening. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> oh, see how I fun it is, Stokes book. It's fun to tease <laughs> Sean, you know, because he's such a nice kid. Jeez, that that <laughs> laptop is still not doing anything. I'm freaking out over here. Yeah. Oh my God, Sean! I forgot. We'll have Tom there. We can do anything. Listeners, just make shit up. <laughs> we'll we'll do it. Don't worry. Tom will make it happen. You know what I mean? Like, if you want smell a vision or if you want to reach through the screen and physically touch things, or we can have stuff 3D print to your home, even if you don't have a Live green screen effects. Mm-hmm. Use Tom's internet car. Holograms. <laughs> yeah, anything. Anything. Sky is the limits. Tom, can you teleport them? All to Gen Con for an hour. They probably have strip strip club rules there and won't let you take video. Oh yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, they it's go crazy so when not you a even try to take club, a picture. Though. What the Tilted Kilt? Yes. No, it's like family restaurant. You know. So why would it have strip club rules? Yeah. No, it totally doesn't. No, absolutely not. We took pictures there last time. I have photos from the Tilted Kilt. Um, I distinctly remember that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it'll be it'll be fun. Yeah, Willy Wonka style teleporting. Tom, can you be all weird? Like the boat is slowly is going. going. Yeah, and really get freaky. Who knows where we're growing? And the terror it is growing. <laughs> well, Sean can do it. We you know, Tom can just do the magic behind the screens. Oh yeah, if you want overacted screaming, I'm totally there. Cool. I want uh I want Tom to hide behind a curtain in our hotel room. And then when we're filming the episode, we open the curtain, and there he is, like Mr. Wizard. Now, that's going to be way less exciting now that I've told everybody, but, but I still want to make it happen. Yeah, okay, you want to bury the lead on something like that, I feel. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely true. Pure, uncut, China white cocaine. Is that how people Wonka teleport? <laughs> I want a live Creed Sean show. We are doing this live show, Sean. I've decided it. Because we have, we have a lot of... Over the years, we've gathered some COTR things. You know what I mean? And we mm -hmm. should do this live episode where you guys can actually see the other people, or we can all see the other people doing the things. You know what I mean? I imagine what your face looks like when you're doing the Creed voice. Uh, so, <laughs> And I think people probably want to see that too, uh, to see the face of Scott Staff appear on your face when you do Creed. Bogey, I'm going to ask you one more time. Should I? This laptop is still sitting there. With the dots chasing themselves, I'm freaked out. 
Um, anyways, folks, thanks for joining us. As always, it was super fun for us, and we hope that you enjoyed it too. Uh, you know where to find us, Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, blah, 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 blah. Uh, special thanks, of course, to our Patreon supporters. We really appreciate it. And everybody that's going to get some sweet swag at Gen Con can thank the Patreon supporters too. So they're helping out the community, uh, and we've got something special planned for them. So, uh, you know, it's a selfless act to contribute, but you're going to get something. So anyways, uh, do be well, all of my friends out there in internet land. Look forward to the podcast, which I'll upload uh, in mere moments. And check out those sweet tokens at uh, Team Covenant. And people might think and... the way we fawn over them that we have some promotional like link with them. We have none, but they are awesome. Yeah, we're just fans. Yeah. They're cool dudes. Sure we is. Um, also in the pipeline, I've been talking for ooh, probably about six months now about doing an actual video about some of the game upgrades that <clears throat> I have used. Sean, I actually have a personal bet about what will come out first. The next episode of Boromir's Buffet or your accessories video. Currently they're they're bet. they're rated they're one to one in the Vegas What's, odds. Uh, what what are we what are we what are we betting? What's the wager? Oh no, God! Your video will come out sooner. Well, that's good because I've already set sent the cuts to Tom, and we're going to talk about editing. <laughs> oh, cool! So you're already—I almost had you. <laughs> you're already, uh, you're already on the go with it. Yeah, so it's imminent, and as well, Tom threw his hat in the ring as well. Uh, so, so it's going to yeah. be awesome. Yeah. Uh, Sean, have that's... you taken care of the Valentine's Day contest? You know that that. Uh, poll should still be out there. We could probably finally wrap that up. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe maybe we should put... Uh, I feel like, you know, some people might say, oh, I didn't have time to vote or whatever, but I think at some point we just have to say enough uh, and let's let's call it done. So we'll stop and, and get it done. And we'll send you the... Uh, whoever wins, we'll send them to the, the prize. What do we... We were, we were doing like a play mat or something like that. We got lots of stuff. Okay, folks, mm -hmm. so it's uh, lots and lots of exciting stuff coming out from us. Just a wonderful, wonderful uh, state of the game for everybody with all this content. So do enjoy it, and uh, we look forward to talking to you guys uh, while well, you listen to us on the podcast this week, hopefully, and we hope you enjoy that. Otherwise, there'll be another one coming out next week. Anyways, take care, keep safe, have fun, all that good stuff. Are we done, Sean? You're streaming, buddy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>